Now, flooding along Indian Creek is nothing new, but tonight some businesses are drying out for the very first time. Yeah, one company's massive cleanup effort is soaked with a bit of irony. Ryan Kath is live near 104th and State Line in Leewood. Ryan? And Elizabeth, this business makes its livelihood helping people try to clean up from a flood. But as you can see tonight, they are the ones left trying to dry out. For anyone in the water cleanup business, it was a busy day. Yeah, the water level was about a little bit higher than the step. But nothing compared to the mess being tackled by preferred contracting systems in Leewood. We took about four feet of water throughout. The most challenging job featured all the familiar sights and sounds. Vacuuming waterlogged floors, drying out walls marked with flood lines, and hosing down mud caked furniture. But this time is different because the destroyed documents and valuable electronics belong to the same business cleaning them up. It's drywall, it's carpet. You know, there was no loss of life here. That's a positive. And this can all be repaired. Overnight, the water rushed down steps, smashed out a back window, and even snapped this overflow prevention device right off the wall. With nothing but a phone, pen, and paper, a worker feverishly kept up with a waiting list of appointments in the driver's seat of an expedition. The goal was not letting their flooded building wash away potential business. I don't really feel bad about what happened. It's just a hell of an inconvenience, and we're going to make it through it. Mike says he knows exactly how his customers feel now. At least he and his crew knew exactly what to do next. Mike told me his business used to have flood insurance. However, several years ago, he was taken off the floodplain when improvements were made along Indian Creek at State Line Road. However, a year and a half ago, he was put back on the floodplain. He didn't buy flood insurance, and so all of these losses tonight will go to his bottom line. We're live in Leewood, Ryan Kath, NBC Action News. Oh, man. Well, at least, as you said, they know what to do. Do we know how much money it's going to cost them? Elizabeth, they're still taking inventory of some of the electronics, some of the, uh, the furniture you see here, but I did talk to Mike late tonight. He said they're estimated it's going to be somewhere in the ballpark of fifty to $75,000. Oh, that is just too bad. Ryan Kath, thanks a lot.